Hi. So today we are going to learn very important lesson. Uh, that is nothing but the models. Okay. So basically, a uh, Python is all about the models. Once you understand the models concept in Python's, so that means you will get all the things about the Python. Okay. Because Python is only known for the models. Uh, why it is so much popular because of the models. Okay. Now we are understood. Uh, going to understood what is a model, what is use of model. What are the uh, how can uh, how we can create a user defined models? Which are the built in models? And some models are not in the systems. That models we have to install externally. So all the things related to models we have to use. Okay, so Python uh, is that is famous for the data science, uh, machine learning, uh, AI, or uh, something. Lot of things they are popular. So why this is uh, so much supported for the AI, ML, and data science? Because there are so many uh, built-in models are present. Okay, so model means what? The uh, models means in short, we can say that. Uh, ready to use functions ready to use functions so that's all this is what simple definition ready to use functions that means the lot of functions are already uh, defined in the system that we have to use okay you can take any function you can take the maths related functions yeah suppose maths function you want to find the uh, square you want to find a cube there's so many built-in functions are there which are already provided by the system so for that there is no need to uh explicitly we have to write the code if else condition while do while and lot of logic there is no need to write okay simply we have to uh, make a use of that models the model means what the ready to use functionalities which are already provided by the systems but now the question comes how to use that models Okay, it's very simple. You have to uh, simple write the Python programs and whichever the model you want to use based on your need. So once you understand the importance of the model, so this model is used for this. Okay, that means you have to simply import that models. Okay, there's an import word is that it's just import that model. That means you are using the functionality of that models. Okay, import model name. Whatever the name. So, for example, you are using the maths model. So, import maths. Okay. Once you imported the maths, then you have to simply what you have to do. Whichever the functionality that you want to write, just take a one object on one variable and that model's name and simply place the dots. So that you will get all the functionalities related to that models, whichever the present in the systems. Some models are built in. Some uh, and also we can create our user defined models also. User defined models also we can create means uh, so many functionalities, so many logical programs we can write uh, within all the all the function in the single files, and we can make a use of that files whenever we need it. Okay, that also we can do. That is called a user defined models. Okay. And plus some models are heavy models. Heavy models means which are def by default not present in the systems. And that models we have to install externally. So, so many times we can make a use of external models. The heavy models are nothing but or external models we can say that. And installing external models. There is certain rules or certain commands we have to install. So basically for installing external model we have to use a pip command okay pip then a model name then install pip install model names which are the models name is the model name okay so these are the all things are related to the models that we are going to learn so basically now you are understanding that models are nothing but the ready to use functions or any functionalities are already there just we have to import that functions and based on our need and just make a use of that models okay
Okay, so this is what the simple use of models. So first of all, we'll see some built-in models which are system already provided, so that you will come to know the how to use or make use of syntax or models. Okay, so let's start. So basically, we have to take new file here. So I go there and new files. Okay, I will save this file in our folders called as a um, math model dot py. Okay, so I will uh, make a use of built-in that we have to check. So for that, there is a model is all already present. So for that, what we have to do, we have to import. Okay. Import model name is what? Whichever the model names. So model name here is what? M-A-T-H. Okay. That means uh, there is one file is present in the systems. That file name is a math. And math holding a lot of built-in functionalities. So suppose for you want to, what you want to, square of number so just in print statement write a m a t h math and press dot in control space see that means this file or this built-in files having these many functions okay so these are all are the predefined or system defined things okay which is already provided by the system so just we have to based on our need we have to make a use of that functions. Okay, so now basically what we wanted, we want the square. So is there any function the square that we have to check? SQR square root is there. Is there any related square, 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 square? Okay, so see now there is no square, but uh, you can find the square root of function. So the, oh, no problem, we'll take the square root SQRT. So once you understand how to make a use of this function uh, models, you can take any models and make a use. Where the square root SQRT, SQRT. Okay. So it is not a square, but it is a square root. Square root. So any number you can pass. So that will define the square root of things. So we'll take the known square root. For example, the 81. 81 is the square root of what? What is the square root of 81? 9. So 9. So that means uh, there is some logic we need to apply some program. There may be some built-in programs, but which are already defined one. So we have to simply use of that functions and just call this function. You will get the 9.0. Okay. So now we are not writing any logic for getting the square root so i'm just using a built-in functionality or built-in model functions so this is the use of models okay in this way there are many mathematical models are there many functions are there so just make a use of that so like that there is similar some functions are there for example you may heard about the round of functions okay Suppose I'm taking one number and the number is holding value like uh, suppose um, 2 point something a 7. Okay. So in some system needed it may be get round off with the 3 full value or uh, some system may needed it round off with what 2. Okay. So there are two different functionality. Once the it's lower value, it should be get printed or it may be printed the upper value. So at that time, programmatically doing this, it's very critical. So how we can do this thing? Now? So it is very hectic thing. So uh, which number it should be uh, printed and accordingly, uh, which should uh, function we have to use so that it will become a three. And it is never uh, we know which number should be there. So there may be a 3.3, 4.2, 5.7. So what logic should apply so that it will print the upper value or lower value? Okay. It is always a lot of thing need to do for getting the proper output. Means if I want a full value, so I need to make it as a 3. But it is never happen. Every time should be it is 2.7 or something. So 
for this kind of uh, problems the real functions are provided by the maths model so at that times if you want a upper value so there is a one function is present in the model and just we have to make a use of that thing so uh, math dot there is a sil function c e i l okay seal means just uh, for remembering things ceiling fan the ceiling fan is already in upper so seal of what you can just just n1 so it's going to print the upper value of 2.2 and which is the upper value of 2.27 it is nothing but 3 see okay now here the thing is here to remember that it is not uh, in the accurately of maths models okay so even though you are writing a 2.1 still it will going to print be a 3 that is not like that so it is above the 2.5 value then it's going to print 3 no you can write 2.1 2.3 2.4 till it's going to write upper value so that is a sale function whenever there is a need to make an upper value so that that time you have to use the sale functions okay in the similar manner, uh, if you want the lower value, so that times you have to make a floor, just like this, that the ground floor is there now, so it's floor function. Okay. Now, if I use the floor function, so it will be print the lower value, the whole number. So the number is 2.1, then it's going to print the 2 as a number. Fine. And a similar manner, it is though there is a 2.9, but still it's gonna print what 2 because the functionality of floor is to make a lower functions. Understood this? Yes, okay. So, uh, here the important is that this is also important, you can make any use, but what you need to understand whichever the built-in models are there so that models we have to make a use and for using that models what we are using just we are importing that models and the models dot all the function names so like that you can use the many functions so many built-in functions are already there for example if you want to uh, make a power up something okay means you want to check uh, 2 raised to 18 or what will be the value it's going to print 2 raised to 15, 2 raised to 3, 2 raised to 5. Okay. So whenever there is a question to come to check the power of something, so that that time you have to use a power function is there. P O in W is the yeah. So the power function. Okay. Here you have to pass the two parameters. First, which parameter, uh, which power you want to see, and how much power you want to see. Suppose I want to check a two raised to power three. So means two to the four, four to the eight. So like it should be gonna print eight. Okay. If you want to check two raised to power four, so it will be double eight to the sixteen. Okay. Power five thirty two sixty four one twenty eight. 256, 512. So, whatever the range you are going to see, that is get the power of something, something, something. Okay. Now, the 512, if I make a power of 10, so it will print 1024. Okay. So, like this, you can check the power of things. In the similar way, the, if there is a square root, there is also the function is present that is called a cube root. Okay. So, for the cube root function, cube root. Yeah, there is a function is the CBRT. Which is function CBRT cube root. Okay. Uh, suppose cube root of 25. I think it is 5. Okay. No. Cube root of 125 is 5. Okay. And here observe the last last answer that it will not gonna print the accurate whole number. You can take any number you want to calculate the square of something, suppose 14 number. So still it's going to print the square of it. Okay. That much accuracy it is maintained. Okay. 
So uh, now thing here is to understand is that the modules means some built-in functionalities ready to use functionalities provided by the systems and how to use the model. First of all, we have to import that model's name. Okay. Then the models dot all the function we have to use. Got it. Understood this? Yes. It's very important. Huh? All the things are based on models. So it is very important to understand the models. Now the question comes, okay, these are the built-in models we understand. And we can make a use further while doing the further program. Lot of built-in models. At that time also it gets revised. Now only uh, syntactically I want to make a use to understand. Like whichever the model we want to use, just import that and make a use of that. First thing. So these are uh, models are nothing but a system a defined model. Okay. S Y S T E M system defines models, or you can say that the system defined or slash the built in models. B U I L T. Okay. We are not externally any models we have created, or we are not installed any external models. Also. Okay. So these are the built in and system defines model we have to just use. Now, I want to create own my models. How to create a user defined models then? Okay. So it's very simple. We have seen the functions. So we have to make a use of function for creating models. The models are nothing but built in functions. So make one files and call that uh, so user users models mdl user mdl dot Okay, so one file we have created that is nothing but user mdl means user defined model in short name I have written. So like a maths is model, so that means they have saved that file with the maths dot Okay, in the similar way now we have created one file that is user mdl. So what I'm going to write here, I will write simple functions. And remember in models, uh, we have to write the function only because that function is get called by somewhere. Okay. So that I will simply first function I'm going to write def and I suppose a uh, user. Okay. So I'm just getting a parameter user defined function. So. First of all, for testing, I'm simply writing a function name. So this model, what we're going to do it, this model is going to uh, accept one the number and it will simply print the welcome that usernames. Welcome. Welcome to our institute. So whatever the name. Institute. Okay. And here I'm going to pass an M. So this is one function we have created in a similar manner. Uh, I want a square of number. So I will just define one SQR name function, which accept one number and it will the print square of number is SQAR is square of a new M number is equal to colon equal to whatever colon equal to comma sq sorry comma what pen no no we have to first calculate it uh, or simply you can write the n into n n into n right in the similar manner if you want to calculate the cube of number so uh, like this you can uh, create a hundred of function as use things like this will be useful in my programs and in my project so you can simply can create a hundred of functions like this and just keep the list of all the function in single files okay so now we have simply one made one file that is called a usdr mdl and that file is holding a three function okay it may hold the 300 function doesn't matter so like that, whichever the needed small, small logics, all the function you have to keep defining. And now I want to make a use of these models. Models are nothing but one Python file, which is having a lot of functions is present there. Okay. 
so last program i will open and uh, or else i will take a simple other program so it would be a better understanding okay now i will write user mdl use dot p1 okay now i want to calculate the square of number so as we know there is no model is present for calculating the built in square but we have defined our user defined models Okay, so that models I'm going to import now. Import user MDL. Okay, write the spelling very yes, correctly. Okay, MDL. Okay, so these are the models we have created. Okay, now we can calculate trying to calculate the square of numbers. So I will write the model name. So this is a model name and just simply dot. Or is not accessing the like spelling U S E R M D L. Okay, it is correct one. Okay, so let me write the first of all square. And if you want to calculate the two square number, so let's check it is working or not. Okay, say it is working. Fine. Oh, what happened? We are writing the square and why it is printing Q. Oh, what we have done? We have written the function name, both are the same. So I'll just write the Q. Okay. You're understanding what we are doing. We have defined our own models. The models means all are the built in function we have created as per our logic. Huh? And just we have imported that models. And now what we are doing? We are importing that models and we are making a use of that model so i have just written the square square of two so it is printing the output as square of number is four and now i want to calculate the cube then just have to just copy this and i will just print it here and the cube of numbers user models then you can write cube c u b e cube of two is eight see why is printing none none so that is the question so every time it is get called i think so oh uh, just because of same variable doesn't matter so which of the models we have called that we want to print okay so now simply uh the first function i want to call so how we can call that first functions okay so that first function need to pass a username. So I just find the u print e r i and t print user models. Now here the question is that now comes. So if the model name is very big. Then every time you have to make a use of that model. Okay. Instead of that, you can make allies of that. So for that you have to use as. Okay. So umdl user defined model we have to print okay so user defined models one second the so user defined models we have to use usdr means a short form you can use a uh, usmdl suppose i'm making user defined models as a u also you can take um okay so instead of writing this uh, long spelling so just you can make a um also right use a different model so i'm just going to write a um a dot which user and just simply pass here the name okay array assets so now once i pass the name so what it going to print welcome to our institutes and then the user name so just run it now see welcome to our institute and the user names okay like this what a simple simple functions or simple simple models you can uh, create and accordingly you can make a use of that got it you understanding what we are doing now hello yes yes okay 
So this is very important to understand the models one because all the things are present in models. So in similar manner, you can uh, write any kind of logics or any kind of uh, the way that you want, like uh, you think that this will be the useful, this logic is useful for that. So you can just simply make a functions. So many function you can create a related strings, related models, related lists, related tuples, whatever the learn up to now. So you can just simply make a use of this simple, simple, simple. Keep on defining the functions and whenever you want, oh, that function is useful, just import that file name and make a use of that models. Okay. So now, as of now, we have seen the two models. One is nothing but the built-in models. Okay. So I just imported and just make a use. And secondly, we have seen that is user defined models. That means you have to simply create one Python files and that file name dot function you have to call okay now also i have talked about the heavy models which are not present in our system so at that time you have to install that models okay example there are so many models which are not easily available in our systems okay so now how to install that models it may happen that that models is already installed in my systems but i will just uh, show the process that how to install the external models okay for example uh, so if we, uh, just consider uh, we want to uh, work with uh, pandas libraries okay now basically the panda is used for uh, reading an excel file so that functionality is not default present in our systems okay so for that we have to install our uh, one models that is called pandas and how to install the external models if you simply go in the google and if you search any models names for example uh, pip install pandas okay so there is one uh, ex uh, website is there that will provide you the proper uh, command to install just remember this to pypl is there can simply go here and it will show where one command this link is very important the p uh, py pi.org okay and here you can search any models name so while doing your programs you may uh, like get the error undefined model something something so just simply go here search that models name it will give one command so pip installed any models name for example the pandas okay so what we have to do simply because it is needed while doing data science, AI, machine learning, the any things, there are many, many models are there. The Python is known for the models. Okay. So just go there, search the whatever the model you want to install, copy these models from this. Okay. Go to your command prompt. Okay. CMD, open this command prompt. Okay and simply past here so what you are going to write pip install and pandas now i have already installed so it will try to collect that all the files okay and now showing me that uh, like one message that this models is already satisfied the requirement is already satisfied but uh, whenever you are going to try this thing so that is going to download all the related files supported related files with all the functions related to that things and it's going to install in all our systems okay so these are the three way to make a use of models one is already built-in models is there then the second is there that uh, so most of models i have already installed so i don't think so there is no model need to install but this is what the process you have to go simply there and according you have to make a use of that okay understood this how to install the external models yes okay you may have used so many models also i think but i'm just spelling you that please yes. like this you can make a use of models so many models are there okay in the similar way, uh, so one more model, so I will make a use of that model. So for example, I want to generate some numbers, uh, random numbers. Okay. 
So now generating the random numbers, so we have to use a lot of logic for that. Okay. But there are some built-in functions are present, uh, models are present. So just make a use of this random example dot p1. Okay. There is a module called randoms. Okay. So this will make our programming some easy. Okay. So there is no need to load of things. So just you want to random number. So simply what you do, you have to import that model name. But uh, important is that suppose I am writing something ROMs and I'm trying to print ROM dot something. So if the model is not present, what error it going to print? So that also you have to take. So randomly I'm going to do. see. So now the question uh, errors it will print no module name or aim. So there is no such a models. Either we can create this file rom.py. So that is also fine. If there is the system defined, so that also they're going to check that compiler interpreter. There is no rom model is present, but there is a random model is present. R A N D O M D O M random. Okay. And now First things random dot c so these are the many things are present random dot random functions dot random let's say we want to calculate the random functionalities oh no, I was just want the random number. So there is some models. You can simply find a lot of things related to this randoms. And suppose I'm passing certain range here. I want the random number between 1, comma 10 or 11. Now check. No models is not callables. Uh, that function name I'm not going to remember now. Just let do the Google random number in Python. So just simply random R O N D M random numbers generated in Python. Okay, so there are some functions random numbers in Python. Ah, so the function name is what? this and range import that models random random so this is also we are done but now so many solutions are there and i just want a simply random numbers not that hectic thing so random dot random numbers so this is also not i have some function already defined so let me check first this so go to the folder name so many folders are there py 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 random see so just check huh. this is function land amt okay so that thing i want to use so that i want to generate the number randomly which is the See, okay, so there is this is a function. What it's going to print? It will print all the random number between this given the range. So now you can simply print that functions. Okay, and so it will means randomly it's going to print the value. First of all, it going may print the any values. Suppose for example, which is there an n an n variable we are using. So an n passes. Now see, it printing a one. In second time, it may print some other value. It may print 10 because the range we have given the in 0 to 10. Okay. So any number it's going to print. First of all, it print 0, 1, 2, any randomly numbers. Okay. Using these uh, models, you can create one uh, small programs or small game also. Oh, that is for guessing number. Okay. Guess the number. So I can do, you can simply what you're going to do. You can ask the number from user and that user number you are going to compare with this thing, guest number. If the user guest number and the random number are matched, that means you have one. You have guessed the number successfully or not. Okay. 
So for that, what you're going to do, you can accept one number from user in the G is equal to as it is integer number. So int of input we are going to do. Okay. Int of input and simply can do the enter number to be guess. E-N-T-E-R. E-N-T-E-R. Enter number to be guess. T-U-A-S-C. Whatever the number. I don't know. So what we have to do i am going to also print the guest number here g but i'm not going to print this random number because once you understand this is a number so that number only we can write okay after the guessing uh i will print the which are the number which are generated by random models okay so now one number we have generated and one number also we are get from the user and we are going to simply compare if the user uh, System generated number is equal to equal to user guest number. So that means to simply print number guest successfully. Okay, which are the things we have to write? Number guest success. Any small, small things you can write. The spelling mistake may be there, no problems. So E L S C L S. just simply print. Try next time. Any message you can. Okay. At the end, print this. Okay. Or else we are always have a question. So what is the number that is generated by the system? So, so now just print this. Okay. So now the one number is generated. Can you guess the any number between one to ten? Five. Five is there. Okay. Oh, and very first attempt. Okay, there is so many time happen. So now suppose I want to generate a two. No, this number is what nine. So like small small game. So also it can do. So six. Try next time. Okay, so like this it can game the game and even you can what you can do you can modify these programs in uh, multiple ways. For example. You can also give some hand. Suppose it is printing the nine. So if the guest number is lesser than that uh, the asking number. So you may give the message the number is too small or number is too upper. So that it will get some hint. So next time you have to enter the number below that below that number. Also, okay. So like that, there are so many built-in models are present, and accordingly that you have to make a use. Okay. So there are many things are there. For example, I will show one small raw program. So, so, so many things we have defined, but I don't know the function name. Suppose this is function name is there. Okay. So we make. You can also play the sound, and accordingly it will print. But for that, we have to open this file. So I'll just making the use of models example. I'm just showing, trying to show you the user defined models programs. Let me open this thing. First of all, EYHW PL sound is there. Hmm. Which is the September PL sound. Which programs I have opened? PY July batch, PLS ending. So PY GL batch, PLS ending. Play sound. No. PLS ending is there. No. PLS ending. Play sound. That PY. Okay. See, uh, so there's a lot of things are there. So basically, I have installed the one model that is a play sound. Okay. And also there is some models is there for displaying image. So these are the all models we have installed on our systems. So user defined choice. We have given lion, bird, cartoon and dog. And we are saying select the choice to play the sounds. So whichever the choice user going to accept. And based on that, we are printing the which uh, choice we have selected and that image we have opened by using that models. And also we are trying to play that sound. Okay. So this is the models what we have done. 
So for example, I want to play the sound of cartoon. So just I can simply enter the choice three. <laughs> so like this function you have done. So any models, like any function you can just, you can even want to line sound. So just the line. So I also open the, the image also. And after that, you can the sound. Okay. So like this, you can write a uh, money functionality. So these are all the use of models. Okay. The models will provide a lot of ready-made functions and just accordingly have to Then, So, a lot of things you can do. Even uh, one danger sound also have created. So, that is nothing but a G, a ghost, G-O-S-T, ghost.py. Just try to open that files. Open this ghost dot g o ghost ghost dot p y okay so just simply run this function so it's going to print that first of all it will show the image and then it's going to calculate this thing see now it will play sound <laughs> So, so many things we can do with the models once you understand how to make a use of models and what you can do. Okay. I'm just randomly showing the functionalities. Okay. So, that also going to work. So, the models are very important because Python is not for models. So, the important thing is that once the model will provide the ready-made function but at the end you can apply the logic as up to now whatever the study if else while do while money do while programs and a lot of things okay uh, when to use how to use now see the random model is only providing a simple things that is it provide a random number okay now it is up to us that how can make a use of how we can make a use of that model so now we are just simply made one simple move program guessing random numbers so there are so many built-in models uh, up to now whatever the program we are going to learn so that we are not make a you you are not use so much models but in further programming we can always going to use one or two models because it is need of the programs okay understood yes you have any doubt in models no okay just try to do this model function i will share these programs and then rest of things will continue. Okay. 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 No problem. Sure. Thank you. Thank you.